I was bullied into removing one of my videos. Here's the full story. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little story time about when I first created this channel and one of my first kind of bigger videos that blew up. So I'm gonna describe later in the video why this is, but I'm, I'm not going to be describing what company this is or who reached out to me specifically just because we came to some sort of an agreement even though I don't like the agreement. We came to some sort of agreement years and years and years ago and here it is. So I wanted to be like an entrepreneur years ago and I kind of why, why I do YouTube as well. One way to make money is you go to a site called clickbank.com and they give you all these products that you could sell. And basically you go and you try to run ads to get people to buy your products. So essentially if it costs less for the ads than they buy, you essentially are just making money and you could just dump it all into ads because more money is coming back, right? So that was something I was trying. So I found my products, got my products right, and I tried two different sites to promote my ads, kind of similar to how Google and YouTube kind of promote it, but it was just like an, an off advertiser for somewhere on the internet. I didn't know where it was, right? I think I put like $25 into each site and I ran ads the entire time. I mean, maybe up to 10 days, 15 days. I tried playing around with everything, making the ads cost more, making the ads cost less. I never got one purchase from either one of these sites, you know, uh, putting $25 into each of them and advertising, I didn't get one sale, right? And both these sites at the same time were like mirror images of each other, you know, exactly the same, like the exact same amount of options, the exact same weight, like to the T, but they just had two different logos, right? So I came on and I did a video about how it's like a scam, how about how uh, you know, I put $25 in, I put $25 into this one and they didn't work. They're pretty much the same site. Basically just let everybody know. So I think at the time I had like 2,500 to 3,000 views on this video. And again, this is me starting. I think I haven't, hadn't even posted a fragrance video yet. So, I mean, 3,000, that was probably like in my top five most viewed videos on my channel, right? So then, one of the guys who owns these websites reached out to me because these videos were getting some traffic and it was influencing how people thought of their website, right? So he basically says, it's not true. We're not the same website as them and our website works. Remove this video and if you don't remove it, we're gonna hire someone to get it removed any means necessary. And to me, I was just like, I mean, that just sounds like you're gonna give me more traffic. You're already on, on my ass about everything. And again, this is before I had a following or anybody. I didn't have like, I know so many people like that I see regularly comment on my videos. I love talking to all you guys. I didn't take down the video and then he goes and hires this company to basically just slander all my stuff. Every time I post a video, 10, 11, 12 dislikes, even if I got people to help me, like, hey man, can you help me like, like this video? The more, even more I would get it liked, they would just dislike bomb it. And again, I didn't have you guys to help, so I couldn't tell you guys like what's going on, or can you guys help out, or maybe like my videos more, I don't know. They literally posted 20 to 30 YouTube videos with the exact, everything that I put in my video, they just copied and pasted it, trying to like lower the search traffic of it. One time, this is pretty funny, um, I put on my Facebook that I went to Santa Monica High School and I didn't, I just put, I put that I went there, right? For me, this doesn't offend me, but he's trying to like offend me. He goes and creates this whole fake profile about how I'm gay. And it's hilarious. I'll try to put it on screen because I literally, I don't, I don't care. It's just something that I just don't care if you say I'm gay. Like it's kind of funny at that point. You're gonna try to make me like, oh no, I'm not gay. You know, whatever he wants me to do. I don't know. But so he makes that site and he says that I went to Santa Monica High School and he's like trying to write everybody there. But it's like, I didn't go to Santa Monica High School. I gotcha. But yeah, so he just kept uh, attacking me, attacking me um, just on everything. I mean, it was to the point where like my videos just couldn't, every video was just dislike bombed. I was attacked at every angle he might have done some more stuff that i'm not remembering but it was just like every angle you know what i mean creating new videos that are an exact copy of mine creating a whole website about slander this and that to me so eventually like i just wrote him it was kind of weird that i was this aggressive with him but I, I took it down i said that like but if this keeps happening like i'm gonna bring it back up and then like post a bunch of other videos and he tried to take responsibility away. I, I didn't do anything. I just had to hire this company. To do, and it's like, but you hired the company. You know that they're gonna slander. So it's like, yeah, 
you didn't do it, but you hired them to do it. So it was just like a, a really crazy time. I honestly wonder if I should have kept that video up or not. I have no idea. Um, I just kind of wanted to share this story with you guys about the only time that I've ever been bullied to take a video down. Now, YouTube has removed quite a bit of my videos, but uh, I've never had somebody ask to remove it. And you think about all the negative videos, like how many videos are on YouTube about people just bashing a product, destroying it. I mean, it's all the time and they don't get threatened to take down. Anyways, guys, kind of want to do like a, an interesting little story video today about the time that I was forced to remove a video from YouTube, even though I didn't want to. And I often wonder about this now, but at the same time, it's like, I don't really have too many leeches. I mean, it's more than a troll because the troll will do a couple of things. These guys is like a hired site to just ruin me. You know what I mean? So it's just nice, nice not having to deal with that or to have like anybody with that kind of adversity. But it's unfortunate that it went down the way it did. And I still to this day wonder if I should have kept this video up. I'll be very interested to see, do you think I should have kept this video up and just kept fighting it? Or do you think, you know, it is what it is. Like we don't even like that content anyway, it's fine. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.